Since the Revolutionary War, soldiers have made the ultimate sacrifice. Some come home broken, lost with no one to turn to. But as ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us tonight, the Veterans Treatment Court in Hillsborough County is fighting to change that. A unique program made up of veterans helping veterans survive new battles at home. When a veteran comes home from deployment, they can suffer from a lot of different issues. We recently sat in on a veterans treatment court at the state level, and now we just saw a veteran get sentenced here at federal court in a brand new pilot program. In this court, we don't focus on punishment. We focus on recovery. Inside the 13th Judicial Circuit in Hillsborough County, there's a different court in session. You owe it to them as well, as a veteran. I never thought I'd make it here. Um, and I'm so glad I did. Where veterans, some who commit serious felonies and face potential prison time, have to stare down their demons. I hated going to the weekly group. I thought it was stupid. It wasn't for me. I didn't belong there. But the group became the most important part of this program for me because I realized I was looking at people that were struggling or struggled the same way I did. And in a weird way, I was judging them when I first started. And then I realized they are me. This is graduation day. Couldn't be more proud of you. So happy for you. Congratulations. It seems like they're very lucky to have landed in, in your courtroom. That's true. And this is not a court of punishment. We are their rock. They come here. It's a safe space for them. Of all the irony, coming to a criminal courtroom, and it's a safe space for them. Judge Michael J. Shanti's presided over the court for eight years. A hardened combat veteran himself, he is still a colonel in the Army Reserves. Shanti lost soldiers under his command and understands the pain many carry home. There have been times when I've struggled. Uh, I've had some dark days. There are many cases where uh, I or other mentors have served alongside some of the veterans who actually appear in front of me. Where is the disconnect where someone such as yourself can serve continue to serve, end up as a judge, and someone else that you were boots on the ground with, walking the same dirt with, ends up as a defendant. Where, where does their life collapse, but your life didn't? That is the million dollar question that uh, we struggle with. You don't want them really to end up in this court. This is the court of last resort. What you want to do is be proactive. In 2013, when the VTC started, combat veteran Colonel DJ Reyes was the only mentor. Now, there are more than 50 and growing. They are the secret sauce of the program. Without the mentor program, you really only have another mental health or drug court because you just, you've just pulled out the mentors. The mentors do so much. I got this mentor here, uh, Mark, and uh, one of our first conversations, he's like, you're an arrogant <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, who is this guy to talk to me like that? <laughs> it took me a while to realize maybe he's right. Colonel Ray is now the first mentor again, this time for a new pilot program in federal court. Cameras are not allowed inside, but I sat in on the sentencing of Captain Varouche Roche. Last November, he pulled up to the gates of McDill Air Force Base, saying he was, quote, Captain America. Guards realized Roche was in a mental break. They searched his car and found an AR-15 with 125 rounds of ammo. The judge sentenced Roche to three years probation. After court, he had agreed to interview with us, but the weight of the moment was too much. I'll see you later. Colonel, you know, I know we were supposed to talk to Mr. Roche, obviously a lot of emotions. What, what, what were his emotions like? Did you get a chance to talk to him after? Uh, I did very briefly. I think he was relieved. This is basically what we saw in the state court, except it's at the federal level. Absolutely. The key to me was that he wasn't going to serve any prison time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Very happy to be walking out Back in state court, graduations, new beginnings. It's for all the veterans that have struggled who are struggling and who have overcome the struggle. When these graduates left the courtroom today and they went out into the world as these transformed folks, what impact will they have on other veterans? They serve as a shining example. Number one, that we all have issues, we all have challenges, but there's hope and there are programs and there are people who care that want you to succeed, that want you to get well. In Tampa with photojournalist Reed Moeller, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.